So welcome back to my workshop. Today, I'm going to look at a millipede game. So, got the millipede on here. Let's turn it off and on again. And we got, we have some something happening here. There we go. Bunch of static tiles. Um, this generally means this garbage happens usually when the CPU is not executing code at all. Because um, uh, usually when the CPU is executing anything, even if it's resetting somewhere there's bad RAM or a bad ROM or something, things will move. So what could this mean? Um, could mean the CPU clock is bad. Um, the signal to the CPU clock is bad. Um, could mean the reset is stuck low. Um, could be mean that the ROMs are just so bad that it can't execute any code at all. Um, so, could be bad RAMs. Actually, usually bad RAMs won't do this to you. Because you usually get some type of resetting. But, uh, let's figure out what's wrong with this board. So, the first thing we always do is get out the multimeter, check the power. So, check the power here. I'm going to check the power. I always like to check it on um, one of the TTL chips. Or you can just check it directly on these rails. Um, TTL chips generally, uh, 74 series TTL chips. The top right corner is plus 5, the bottom left is ground and you can see we got perfect voltage there, 5 volts right on the dot basically. So that's fine. Put that away. And let's check out the O-scope. So we have our O-scope, we're going to ground it because the next thing we check out is once we test the power is to see whether we're resetting and resetting whether we got a CPU clock. So the CPU clock, I like to always test first. Actually, I usually do the reset just because on this one it's easier, on 6502. 6502, the CPU clock is um, four back from the, far, the top right. So one, two, three, four. And you see we have 5.1 megahertz, good. That's what it should be. Let's also check the reset. And it is resetting, it's not stuck low. So the game is resetting, not stuck low. We do have a good clock. So, next thing I do is I fire up the fluke um, because now I'm going to test the RAM and the ROM. So, take the Oscope probe off. We don't need that right now. We're going to go ahead and get that tape off my hand. I'm going to go ahead and uh, move that CPU pod or CPU. Put the fluke probe in. Remember, turn the game off. Fluke is off. And let's go ahead and put that probe in. Turn on the fluke first. I'm going to go to setup. More, more, more uh, active force line. No. Oh, bus test, but we uh, don't have power on, so not turn it on. We do a bus test, and we see immediately data bits 5 and 6 tied loop. Now, this is very rare that you see this because there's, um, not, there's usually not many chips that directly can talk to the CPU, usually only some buffer chips. Um, and they're the first chip on the, uh, that CPU sees. So um, this is clearly a problem. If, if the data bits 5 and 6 are tied, nothing's going to work. All right, so we have to figure out why that is. Um, often that can be um, if the board is physically damaged. Maybe there's a little trace um, bridge or a solder blob. Um, I have some ideas because this is an Atari board using pokies. Um, but... Um, Let's go ahead and, and, and try to figure that out. So, um, data bits 5 and 6 tied loop. All right. I mentioned there's usually not many things that can do this on a board. But this is an Atari board. It's got the pokies. And the pokies, as I'll show you in the schematics, are usually um, directly can, or often can directly talk to the CPU. They, 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 they um, are directly on the same bus as the CPU. So, I always like to, whenever working on any game with pokies, I like to remove the pokies. Because um, 
they can give you they they they, they do fail often, and they um, they will mess up things. And most games will run just fine. Well, they'll, they'll boot without the pogies. Um, the game won't work 100% correct. Like Centipede, it'll boot. Um, you just will have uh, mushrooms on the left side of the screen, and um, you won't have any type of sound. Uh, Millipede, I think, does the same thing. I don't remember. Um, there's two pogies on Millipede. So let's... Oh, I, I just want to test my theory. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop here. And let's go ahead and turn it back on with the pogies removed. Bus test. Okay. So, pokies are obviously a problem. Um, something, one of those pokies, at least one of them is bad. So, while we're here, let's go ahead and do a RAM test. We're going to do a RAM short. Um, on the RAM, the ranges for the 2114 RAMs. And on the ranges for these, um, right here and here, we have the 2101 RAMs, the video RAMs. Um, so, let's take a schematic, look at the schematic, and um, the schematic tells us what the RAM ranges are. So, let's take a look at that. Okay, so here we have the schematics for the millipede board. On sheet 3A, they give us the memory map, which is great. Um, we see that the RAM in this first line is 0000 to 03FF. And then the playfield RAM is 1000. And all the way, uh, well, there's actually five different ranges, but they're all contiguous. So we can just test them all in one group. So we can go 1000 to 13FF. So now we know the RAM ranges. We know that 2114s are in 0000 to 03FF. So let's do a RAM short on those. Let you come back any minute. The RAM short's pretty pretty quick, and it's okay. So that's good. Let's do a um, RAM long. I'm sorry, not a RAM long, a RAM short on the um, playfield RAM. And that is RAM short to 13FF. 1000 to 13FF. Yeah, let's take a second. We'll come back when that's done. So, looks like our um, RAM short is finished. RAM short of the playfield RAM. Let's take a look. It says 1000 to 13FF OK. Huh. That's odd. So, what could be going wrong? Uh, we know we have good voltage. We fixed the problem with the bus short. And we know that the um, um, RAMs, and both RAM ranges are OK, so it's got to be something with the ROMs this point um, what would cause it not to run code um, the ROM circuitry could be messed up the access circuitry um, the ROMs could be um, corrupted I don't usually see a lot of corrupted ROMs but let's take a look at the ROMs oh well that's not good automatically we can see that um, this ROM is not incorrectly look at this we got two missing and oh it looks like it's not even in right um, so two are pulled out and the back um, it's actually offset so well that's really not going to work let's turn that off remove it hopefully the ROM's still good uh, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be because we didn't have yeah we didn't do anything plug it back but it should still be fine if it was all right so let's go ahead and try it now run UUUT look at that works great so, we still have the problem. I'm going to put it in test mode. Look at that. Um, we still have a problem uh, with the pokies because we took them out. So, let's go ahead and um, test one po each pokey one by one. Okay. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in this first pokey. Do one at a time. And what do we got? That doesn't look good. So, um... But this pokey's probably not good. Let's go ahead and turn it off and remove it. Put back the second pokey. Um, and at this point, I'm also going to go ahead and remove this float. Just get this out of the way. Right. 
So we got a the CPU back in because we don't need that fluke anymore, I don't think. We're just going to test each of these pokies and use the onboard test of the game. Okay, so that worked. Let's test it. It says P0. So, um, P0 is bad. Po Pokey 0 is bad. Um, obviously, one's bad because we don't have one there. So let's, so I, I often will switch them too just to make sure that um, it's not something weird with the accessing of a certain pokey. So put it, just switch the slots, put it in, turn it on. I don't have a signal, that's not right. Oh, there it is. Just took a second to sync. Yeah. And now it says Pokey 1 bad, because this one's now empty. Good. Uh, I just like to do a, a triple check, put that Pokey back in there, just make sure. And it probably won't boot. Sure enough, it doesn't. That Pokey's definitely bad. So we're going to go ahead and remove that Pokey. Mark it as bad. I always send it back, because these are expensive. I don't want people thinking that I'm... When I fix a board that I'm ripping them off of pokies. That one's bad. Um, I got a new one right here. Put it in. Make sure everything works. Does. Fire it up. Oh, with test mode, both test errors go away. Coin it up. Oh, it's on free play. Start it up and turn on the volume. Looks good. All right, that was another pretty simple fix. Uh, we use a fluke, we tested the RAM. We then um, we tested the the first of all voltage, then this, the reset in the clock, then the RAM, and uh, the um, ROMs, and we saw that one of the ROMs was was out of place. So we had a bad pokey, and a, a ROM that was just in the wrong, just not put in proper properly. Someone tried to fix it and um, failed to put it back right. So, yay, um, good note. Always keep in mind when working on Atari boards, if it's got a pokey, just take the pokey out. These things are often bad. So um, take it out and test it, see if it changes. All right. Very good. Thanks for watching.